Hey there, I'm here today to tell you all about Harriman, Utah, why you would possibly want to live there, what's there to do there, some different places around the town. I'm just going to give you a good overview of what Harriman, Utah is all about. So if that's what you want to see and you maybe want to learn some places maybe uh, all about it, then uh, keep watching. And we're going to get started right now. So um, Harriman, Utah is located southwest of Salt Lake City, which Salt Lake City is up here at the map, and you come down I-15 all the way down over here to 154, which is called Bangator Highway, over here to uh, 134, and then you'd go over to it, or you can take a different way, but pretty much that's how you're going to get there. Uh, you can come down from Bangator Highway here, 154, all the way down as well to get to it, or this other one is uh, Mountain View Corridor. Uh, which isn't as fast right now since it's not fully developed the way that it's going to be in the future. So uh, we'll just start at the bottom corner of it and I'll give you some uh, some insight on the areas. Um, right down here, this is kind of the bottom part of, of Harriman. So there's a bar here called Redemption Bar and Grill. Uh, it has some pretty good food and drinks. Uh, so if you're in the area, stop by. Uh, right along over in here, this area here, there's um, apartments and townhomes and stuff that you can rent. Um, continuing on, we would get over here to the Real Salt Lake Academy, which is a um, charter school. And they have this really cool stadium and stuff. Um, let's see if it shows it. Anyhow, they, they play soccer there and uh, it's super cool and super nice. So I took a little short video, which you can kind of see here what it looks like. Um, but as we keep going up the Academy Parkway here, um, this area here and here is still not built out yet. Exactly, it's building, but they did open the Lee's Marketplace. Super nice uh, grocery store. It's just smaller than what you're used to, but it has pretty much everything you need and it's brand new and super nice. Uh, over here in this area, um, they are building the Real Salt Lake um, co Community College, like an expansion thing, which is cool. Um, we have more homes in here. Homes in this particular area here, um, these are like townhomes and stuff in here, and they pri are priced somewhere currently in the four forty dollars to $500,000 range. They're three-bedroom homes uh, with a basement. Most of them seem to not have a finished basement, so people opted not to do that. However, you can finish the basement, um, you know, to give you the extra square footage. Um, over on this side here, we have other homes and some condos and townhomes and whatnot. Um, they are probably in the 600s uh, to be in, in that area. And uh, we can just keep this Rosecrest. If you take Rosecrest up, that's how you can get onto Mountain View Corridor. Um, but we'll just keep going this direction. Uh, once again, homes in here. There's Ridgeview Elementary School. Uh, that's the school that Chase went to last year. Uh, super cool school. Very good um, like teachers and stuff like that. He really enjoyed going to the school. We never had any issues. Um, it was just all in all a good elementary school to go to. And I think it's pretty highly rated. Um, Across the street from it is the Mount Mountain Ridge High School, which is one of the newer high schools in the area. Uh, it's super cool. You can see like as right here, you can kind of check out what it looks like. We did a little drive by so you can see what that's all about. Um, but it's a it's a nice, nice brand new school pretty much. They are building new townhomes over here and all the way up. This whole area here is a big farm that they're building. Uh, Edge Homes is building homes there and then all along this side like up to here I think and then this stuff would be commercial stuff which the car wash is open uh, that's the car wash that I currently go to when I go get the car washed it's just super convenient for us um, and then they're building more stuff across here and even though this area here now switches to Riverton um, there's a brand new movie theater here Cinemark XD uh, a ton of different shops in here from Sephora and um, the Love Sack Furniture Place, which I don't know if you've seen that stuff, but that's super cool where you have like your theater like in the couch. 
Um, and then they just have, you know, cotton on, a Mexican place to eat. There's a pizza parlor here that's pretty good that we went and tried. The one in Via 313 is the pizza place. We went and tried that in uh, Sandy, and the pizza's good, so we're waiting for this to open. Um, there's also, like, a Hello Sugar, which is, I think, a donut store that's opening. It says it was going to open in July and still hasn't opened. Um, and then there's a barbecue place right next door to it. Uh, there's just a bunch of other little restaurants and stuff. And then if you cross the way over here, you have an Orange Theory Fitness, um, a Zao Modern Asian Cafe, a Cafe Zupas. And um, you can see there's the Chipotle they just opened. Uh, there's a Super Chicks Chicken. It's kind of weird. It says it's with custard, so we haven't tried that. If you're into custard, Rita's is one of the better places here that we've tried. Uh, there's a Chip Cookies. Um, which is pretty good for cookies. Cookies are a big thing here. Uh, there's an Indian place, and let's see, there's a Capriati sandwich shop. Great sandwiches. There's my favorite that's not here, but it's a like a Chinese, Japanese like cooked chicken with rice that I get every so often. Um, odd pizza, um, and you can go back here, and we have a Ross. TJ Maxx, Five Below, Ulta, Sierra, Tilly's, just some other shops, Burlington, Famous Footwear, uh, Michael's, PetSmart for your pets. That's where we get our GSM stuff. Uh, and then a Harmon's Grocery Store. Then, of course, we have Chick-fil-A here, a Chase Bank, and then uh, Harmon's has their own gas, which is typically cheaper than some of the other places, even though that really isn't in Harmon, but it's like right at there and then behind it there's a Costco once again that's a, another thing that's in Riverton but it's right in basically where you think would be Harriman uh, and then we'll just kind of go back down the map this way and then we'll cover the other side zoom back out okay so crossing Mountain View corridor which then this whole area is is Harriman um, they have what's called the Black Ridge Reservoir, um, which I don't know why it's calling it the pond, but it's the reservoir. And you can actually, uh, when I switch here, it's got like a sandy beach area here, and you can like swim and stuff in there. Super cool. Um, we haven't got to do it yet, um, but it's on our list of things to do. All the homes around it are super nice and um, a little bit more pricey, so they're probably in the sevens, eights, nines to live around it. Um, coming up this way we have a fire station and then uh, over here to the right we have Providence Hall High School and then we have Providence Hall um, Middle School that's right across the street from it and then we have Providence Hall Elementary so we have like all three of those those are all charter schools so they're well rated and you'll have to check into how you would actually get into those but um, those are all good schools which there really isn't any school that's bad and that I've heard of in, in Harriman as of yet. Uh, here's Black Ridge Elementary, and then just down the street from it is Fort Harriman Middle School. And then there's like a cool park here with baseball diamonds. Uh, continuing out this direction, we have Cove Pond. So Cove Pond, I fished at once. We fished uh, on Christmas Day. It was like 28 degrees. Probably the worst day to pick to uh, go fishing just because we didn't have like the clothes um, we weren't used to like the weather I guess being that cold and it was a little windy which it, it's windy a lot um, but we didn't catch anything that day so we haven't been back yet but the plan is to go back there and try it again to see if we can catch fish but they stock it with uh, trout and catfish and I think there's also wiper in there as well that you can catch uh, you just need a fishing license, so you can go to like Sportsman's or Shields or wherever you want to get your license out. Even Walmart sells them. Um, but yeah, anyhow, so the homes around it are probably in the sixes to eights again. Uh, there really isn't anything under six that is for like a single family home in Harriman at all. Uh, you're almost looking at from about 450 uh, on up unless you want a condo. Here's Butterfield Canyon Elementary School. And um, 
can't really comment on that one because I don't know much about it other than it's supposed to be a good school. And then we have Harriman Elementary School here. Uh, cruising back up this way. And they have a park here, which is super cool. Um, we've been by this a few times, but this is a cool place to check out right by City Hall. Here's our Harriman Library, Mexican food place. Um, go back down here to 134. Uh, 134 is like the main drag for Harriman. It pretty much has everything. There's CVS and Walgreens and McDonald's. This stuff hasn't been built out yet, but it will be. Uh, the Walmart Neighborhood Market is here. They have Tire Place, Taco Bell, um, Tropicals, something of, of sorts, uh, Credit Union, uh, Little Caesars Pizza, which we'll do from time to time just because it's easy. There's a Neater's Bakery. Uh, the only, one of the only Sonics that I know around is right there. Another, This one is a Squirts Car Wash, which is like one of the stall ones. So if you have a Jeep like myself, then you, you'll take it to that sometimes so that it can you can get all the mud and stuff off of your car. Across the street, Popeyes and a Cup Pop, which is new here. Korean, it's like Korean barbecue and a cup. Um, so it's on my list to try Domino's Pizza. And then just keep going down here. These are all nice, nice little communities. One thing you'll see here, like if we zoom in here, the yards here, I don't know where you're coming from, but the yards are just not very big in Harriman. It's like they just wanted to pack as many homes as they possibly could on an acre. And so you end up with these like just tiny yards in, in the back. These ones look a little bigger than some of them, but I, I don't know who wants to have like that small of a yard, especially with it being so nice to sit outside uh, in the evenings during the during the summer. Maybe it's nice because you don't have all the snow in the winter, um, but we don't really get a ton of snow where it affects everything. There's a cool little park here to check out. Um, back to 134. Then we have uh, Carl's Jr., which is cool because when we moved out here from Tennessee, we were used to Hardee's. Uh, which is almost the same thing, but they have slight differences in their menu. America First Credit Union, uh, an auto zone is right here. And then we have uh, a bunch of little like places along here. There's a Cafe Rio again, a Jersey Mike's, a UPS store, uh, Great Clips, and then a Smith's, which is like Kroger uh, for groceries. Uh, it's a big store, so it has pretty much everything you need. And then Smith's has some of the cheaper gas as well. Uh, there's a Wendy's here in the parking lot, and then crossing the street we go to a, a, another credit union, a KFC, a uh, Grease Monkey, uh, which is right here, and then we have, for oils, and then we have a uh, Doodle Bugs Daycare, and then I want to say there's also a car wash. Yes, there is. Gorilla Car Wash is right here. Um, not sure why it says closed, other than maybe the time of day, but... Vasa Fitness, so if you're into fitness at all, Vasa is one of the bigger ones. I heard a rumor that they were Gold's Gym. I haven't been able to verify if that's true yet. Um, but it's like 10 bucks a month, and then they run a special every now and then where you can get free uh, sign up. So that's where I go to that gym. There's an Ace Hardware next door, a Subway, Mr. Fry's Man, which is a place that's on my list to try uh, just to see what it's like. There's a juice company, Fitz Drinks, uh, Mexican food. Let's see if there's anything else. O'Reilly, Jiffy Lube, uh, Arctic Circle. So that's another like a burger place. A uh, little park over here. Let's see, going out this way. One third, there's really nothing out this way. There's a Sinclair gas station. And then it kind of just goes to like ruralness, which is super cool. So if you're looking at, you wanted to get a property, you know, that had some land like this home, then you can definitely find it out on the west side of Harriman. And then um, when you keep going, there's, I guess, elementary school there. But you, if you keep going out west, you get over here, and this is what's called the Copper Mine. So the Bingham Canyon Mine, they do a mine tour. There's also a way you can drive up here to the Bingham Mine Overlook, which I've been to, and that's 
amazing. The views up there are great. I re highly recommend that you drive up when they have it open and see it at sunset. It's just amazing, the views. And you get to look down into the copper mine, which is kind of neat. So bring binoculars as well. Um, there's new homes, new home construction stuff that's being built out that way. Uh, going back this way, we'll shoot over here to Harriman Boulevard, which I thought was like the main street, but it's not really. But there's new construction being built uh, this way right now. So if you're in the market, um, if you're thinking about making a move to Utah or around Salt Lake City, we'd love to chat with you. We've helped a ton of families find what home they're looking for. Uh, you can just tell us kind of a few things that are what you're looking for so that we can help you find that right uh, home. Uh, there's new construction all in here. Teton Ranch is really nice by uh, Richmond America. There's Toll Brothers, which are million dollar homes right in this area here. And then you have Harriman High School right here, which is super cool. And then there's pretty much, then we get into um, like Daybreak South Jordan area. So that pretty much ends the top part of there. But there's Copper Mountain Middle School, which is one of, it seems like it's pretty new. I don't know the exact date that it opened, but it, it's really nice. Um, and then you have just a bunch of shopping and stuff that's along Mountain View Corridor. There's a JCW's for burgers. They have um, pretty good shakes. We, we've stopped there and got them before. There's a Taco Bell, Sports Clips. There's an ice cream place in here, Booker's. Um, there's Sport Clips. You have Winco. So if you're looking for like a discount like grocery store where you bag your own groceries, then that, that's a pretty cool place. Uh, you can save quite a bit of money going to Winco. Uh, there's a Slim Chickens, which is pretty popular for chicken. Uh, you know, for chicken fingers and stuff. Uh, a car wash and a Jiffy Lube is over here. There's a coffee place, which I haven't tried yet. Uh, and then there's, looks like they're getting ready just to build a ton of more stuff in here. Um, over in this area here, they're still building townhomes. They're running right around 550-ish to 600,000. In this little subdivision here, they have this little park that's super nice. So if you have the kiddos and you bought something in this range or a home right around here, then you they can pretty much walk. There's this little path that they can take. Uh, let's zoom in here. So they would cross the street here with crossing guards and then they have this little pathway that they can walk back to the houses. And that's you know super nice that they can walk that way. Um, and I think the high schoolers have a way to walk as well. I'm just not sure their path, but they have a way to walk over there as well. Um, coming back this way, the public storage. We already talked about the city hall and the little park, but that's pretty much uh, Harriman in a nutshell. Um, the whole city is really, really new for the most part. Like I would say half of it is pretty new. The other half is, is older, so you it depends what you're looking for. If you want some a little more land or you want uh, you know a townhome or a condo or home, uh, you can reach out and uh, contact me. I'd love to chat with you about what you're looking for, see how I can help you find that right spot. If Harriman isn't the right city, I just need to know kind of what you're looking for to be able to help you find that right property. Um, once again, thank you for watching my video and until next time, I'm out.